Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last time we barely survived after nearly drowning. We were rescued by a guy named Jacob who has now left us to find his village and warn his people. And this seems to be our objective as well, in hopes of getting some information. So let's continue and see where we end up. Where are we even? Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. That might be the one lady we have spotted previously. I believe she was called Sophia. Let's first take a look whether or not we have any skills. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least, for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. So we have seemingly unlocked the second tier of skills, which contains some interesting ones. Let's take a look at the tier 2 of Brawler. We have Deadly Force, Faster Finishers, Stealth Landing, Silent Drops, as well as Field Medic. We can bandage our wounds more quickly. Some of these seem to require some other skills or equipment. In the Hunter tier 2 we have double shots, which seems rather interesting. We can simultaneously fire up to two arrows at separate locked targets while zoomed in with a fully drawn bow. And so that could be very useful in stealth situations. Let's see if we can upgrade any weapons. A golden fang. Do we even have this? 0% complete, I suppose not. What is this all about? Can we upgrade our bows? Oh, we can see the different types. Death's breath. The white widow. Guiding light, and so forth and so on. Looks like there are many weapons available, so it's pretty hard to decide when is the best time to upgrade one of them. Let us continue and try to meet up with the native who is being trapped here. Optional mission available. There is an ally nearby. Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. Oh, here he is. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh god. Are you all right? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Sounds easy enough. Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right about you. Now where do we need to go? What is this marker? Never seen this one before, right? 
Let us take a look. Seems like there are multiple targets here. That was very odd. He's gone. Throwing a grenade. Throwing a grenade. Keep firing. Just you and me. Is there another one, or did he just speak while dying? It is kind of odd. There are several markers here, but I thought the golden one was supposed to show as the main objective. I'm not quite sure how this works. Got to be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. Maybe one of these lockers. Blood. Hurt. Just have to follow the trail. Stop! No closer! I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. Temple of the Witch. We can accept this mission, but I wonder if it replaces or just adds another to our quest log or whatever. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Okay, she's just going to sit here then. Well. There are still some of these weird icons. Perhaps these are the indicators for side quests or DLC. Could there be anything else in these lockers? Just some gear then, alright. Let's take a look. So for the wolf cave, or the wolf den, the guy said something about just past the bridge, which I'm not sure where this is located, past the bridge, hey? Not seeing much of a bridge. Is this the guy for the lockpick? Oh. Are the transmitters destroyed? I haven't found them all yet, but I will. So this is where we are. <sighs> Let's try to get a clearer view.
a bridge. Where is the bridge? I guess if we follow the main quest marker, we'll find it eventually. Well, why not take a look at the Baba Yaga or the Grandfather in Peril quest here? Oh wow, what is this? Where did it vanish to? What happened here? Did it enter the cave? Or was this scripted and meant to happen? That took quite a bit of bullets. Can't collect these shrooms, oh well. And it seems we do have to move through this cave. And now we should be able to pull this barrier down. I believe we were here once before, but we hadn't a gear. And this does seem to be the right way to go. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. It did also say something about an optional tomb. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Veil, vale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Veil. Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. <coughs> Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? Very believable. I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. <coughs> but a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the Vale. Nothing good happens in that place. I believe the Baba Yaga translates to the Boogeyman. So I'm not sure what to expect. Voice of God, optional challenge to seems we Laura, just on, walked in. You need to hear this. Doesn't sound like that? fun. That was the witch. Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. <gasps> kind of pressed the wrong button there. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Hey, uh, 
hear that? That was the witch. Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. I mean, this time I did press the right button. It should have grabbed. Let's shimmy over to the next one. And let's grab hold of the ledge. And I do hope we can get up here. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. But I do believe the old temple is actually the optional tomb. There is something here. Let's take a look. Without this place, this divine the scout, voice of rock, God. We would have been lost. The story of the some free gear and XP. Hmm. This was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. Let's take a look at this document. Oh, it's a map, or piece of a map at least. And it seems we can crank this thing if we line up. There. It lowers. At least this counterweight still works. Okay, and what happens if we let loose? Nothing. Alright. Oh, so now we can climb up this thing. And get to the left here. Let's take a look what this might do for us. Maybe this is the way to lower it back down. Doesn't do much. What happens if we pull it? Hmm, not much. The rope seems to be too short. Here's another document. Never forget the first time you hear the sound. Mountain Song, Voice of God. How do we get to the other side now? Don't think we can just climb over this. Hmm, are we stuck or what do we do now? I also find it quite odd that this doesn't do anything. Don't see anything moving or... Well, there is this piece which I'm not sure about. We can't pull in the other direction, can we? No, we can't. Very odd. Not sure what to do here, but I do believe we will need to figure it out in the next part. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope you will join me again in the next one. Hey there, I would really appreciate it if you could just click that subscribe button 
that would help me out a ton. Also, let me know what you think of the video. What was good, what was bad, tell me in the comments below. Alright, that's all. Show's over. See you in the next one.